All right. This is uh, Eli Nishmas, Rezel Bas Chava, 65, Shmiras Aloshin. How does the marshal of the swindler prove false the speaker's rationalization, but the listener enjoyed the Lashon Hara? Okay, we'll see this in a second. People who speak Lashon Hara tend to rationalize their sinful behavior that the listener wanted to hear it. And the imam gave him Hana. I gave him enjoyment. Also, the two remain good friends. How could he be guilty of causing the listener harm when he had such a good time and, and afterwards such good friends? So they go, so the Chafaz Chaim says, you got to understand this much. Oh, one day, a swindler, you know what a swindler is? A tricker, a thief, right? He comes to town, and he's disguised himself as a respected... A scammer? A scammer, yeah. And he disguised himself as a respected leader of the community. When a, when a visitor arrived in the town, the swindler welcomed him like an old friend and invited him to the local inn where they could go enjoy each other's car. Oh, Shalom Aleichem! Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Shalom Aleichem? Shmuel. Shmuel, yeah, Shmuel. How you doing, Shmuel, right? So you act like your buddy. He doesn't even know you. Ah, it's been so many years since we saw each other last. You're like, he goes, I can't. It's so exciting to see you. Let's have a celebration. Go to the counter. Let's get the best things that the guy has to offer here in the, in the, in the restaurant. Of course, we'll take care of the bill. Don't worry about it. Hey, come on, just go up and order. So you go up there. The two wine and dine till they eat and <laughs> gone's fine. And all of a sudden, the guy looks around and the swindler's gone. The little scammer's gone. So now there's this huge bill. And the owner of the place comes over and says, um, okay, you need to pay. So he goes, yeah, but, but the swindler. He goes, swindler? What swindler? You came up to the front. You ordered all this stuff. Don't tell me, swindler. Right? The guy says, I have no... The guy says, listen, I know you ordered. I don't care. You pay. Now, the guy listens to Lush and Hora is like the visitor. The listener is happy and feels no anger towards the speaker who seems to be entertaining him for free of charge. The listener see, you know, sees that the speaker is his close friend, telling him secrets, private information. He wouldn't tell anybody else. But this, that's what's going on here. But in the next world, with a shop, it says the shop is open and the merchant extends credit, as it says in the Mishnah Novas. In the next world, however, when the ledger is open and the collector makes his collections, one's going to have to stand judgment for having listened to an accepted false for, uh, for forbidden talk. Every word that he pay that he that he listened to, he's going to have to pay. And of course, the swindler is long gone.